Hi everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I try to upload at least once a week, every Friday, and I hope that my videos can be useful and can be helpful for you guys one way or another. So don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And check out my blog at heyamadea.com and I'm also on Instagram at heyamadea. So after getting all out there for all that self vlog out there so I'm gonna just jump right into the back so today I'm coming at you with the Louis Vuitton uh, favorite PM I've heard a lot of rumor that this bag is being discontinued and I don't know if it's true or not if you have any information about that feel free to leave the com uh, in the comment section down below but I've heard that it is being discontinued even though this is this favorite bag is a favorite of by uh, of a lot of people. So I got this from eBay. I decided to go pre-love road because it is quite pricey for a small bag that it is. This is the PM size. It comes in two sizes in MM and PM in the three prints, the monogram, the Mir Ibin and the Mir Azure. And I, I love me some monogram, so I go with the monogram and uh, the MM size retails for $985 here in the States and the small one, the uh, PM size, it retails for $805 and I was actually looking for uh, for the MM size and I, I saw this one and it was such a great deal so I just finally and it was from a reputable seller with a lot of good reviews and then I did check all the pictures which is very super important especially if you buy pre-love from eBay and I check uh, the the pictures and everything it seems legit so I pulled the plug and I completed the purchase but when this arrived in the mail <clears throat> I didn't realize that it was the PM size because I was actually looking to buy the MM size so uh, when I opened the packaging I, I saw that the receipt itself it says that uh, this is PM size and then I said wait did they make a mistake and then I just rechecked the online listing on eBay and the titles did say PM size and I just totally missed that I don't know why I guess I was just blindsided by how good of a deal this bag was I got this just under $600 I, and it is such in a very good condition and if you're a fan of Louis Vuitton you may know that there's this Facebook group called Louis Vuitton Addicts Buy, Sell and Chat. It, I, I believe it's one of the largest of Facebook Louis Vuitton groups out there and you, I just learned a lot of things just from that, uh, from that website, uh, from that Facebook group. And I did post it, this picture on the group and I just, a lot of people does that just to uh, have a second reassurance, a, added reassurance just posted the picture and have the fellow Louis Vuitton addicts confirm which if this bag is fake or not and I did post the picture in the group and everybody says it was authentic so I was super happy about that so let's just talk about the bag since this is the PM size it is in a smaller size so the sizing of this bag it is 9.4 inches uh, in width and 5.5 inches in um in height and i'm sorry of the palm it covers <laughs> it's a 1.6 inches in width so it comes in this beautiful chain detailing so which you can also uh so you can also use this without the vaqueta strap you can use this just as a purse or just as a clutch and it also comes with a vaqueta strap like so which if you see it has two different uh, clo uh, I would say two different lengths on each side on the on this side it has that I, I, I don't know what it's called it has that claw you know that claw thingy <laughs> to connect uh, the strap and this one you loop it uh, you loop the strap so it's actually pretty straightforward but one drawback about the strap that it's not actually adjustable so i've seen a lot of people actually exchange the strap with uh, another uh, monogram strap that it's actually adjustable and i did have my pochette matisse uh, strap that i can connect and it the the 
the canvas match and everything but I believe because it is a PM size this the pochette Matty strap is just slightly too big but it still looks okay I'm gonna show you later on how it looks like but let's continue about the back about the detail of the back so if you open it has this gold metal um, a gold metal plate right there that says Louis Vuitton Paris and then it opens I just love the interior because it is not the typical just beige color it's in the burgundy like a palmish color I just love it it's so pretty and it just has one big compartment and one slip pocket at the back and it this bag is made in the US so it just uh, it just have this Louis Vuitton Paris and the date code said it was made in the 27th week of 2014 so that's that of the bag and the, at the back of the bag it just has these two uh, dot gold uh, hardware dot so it just look like this so I really just love the look of the of the bag itself it just look very simple very understated yet so sophisticated I'm gonna show you what it fits Inside the bag, I know it's such a small bag, but it fits quite a lot. And by the way, this pom-pom actually is so pretty. My husband got it as uh, a gift This uh, for me. This is from Fordla. So I'm going to link if I can find it down below. So let's go to see what I can fit inside. very first thing that I can fit inside my favorite is actually my Emily wallet. This is my... Uh, my Emily wallet that uh, my very first Louis Vuitton purchase last year I have a whole video about it and you can check it down below what happened it was my very first experience buying something from Louis Vuitton and it was very uh, quite an interesting experience so anyway so I don't really use my wallet that often just because I really I pay everything by card now I just find that it's more convenient and that way I can just track all my purchases online but uh, so I don't really use my wallet but if I do want to bring my wallet I can actually uh, fit my Emily wallet inside uh, there is no problem but it actually just already uh, take quite uh, the bulk of this pace the Emily wallet if you can see but it still can fit so we'll get there so the next thing is this round coin thingy still in monogram you know me and my monogram so I can just put right there at the front and then my Louis Vuitton key clay also in monogram so I can fit it right there no problem and then I have my Tory Burch card holder which I can fit also there it is quite full already because of the Emily wallet I, I can still fit one lipstick and which I actually can put my lipstick inside my key clip okay right there so I'm gonna put it back inside and the last thing that I can I want to fit is my phone of course so I just put at the back right here so it is quite full if I decide to bring my wallet inside this uh, tiny bag it actually still fit but it's quite full and it actually stretch the back a little bit it still can close no problem but it is quite a, a misshape just a little bit I don't know if you can see it It'll look a bit so but so just to note that it still can fit but I don't prefer to do that when I use this bag I usually just try to go more compact and I don't bring my wallet and just so I took out my my Emily wallet so and then it fits no problem like so so I so if I took out my Emily wallet I can still fit my hand sanitizer and one hair hairpin like so and my battery just ran out so anyway I was saying that if I took out my Emily wallet I can still feel fit, uh, fit all that inside no problem so now I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my body frame just for reference I am five foot uh, two or about a hundred fifty nine centimeters in length or not in in height so this is what it looks like so know that the strap it's not adjustable so it fits right here just uh, on my hip so I think it fits perfectly 
on me and I have no uh, problem adjusting that but let's say I want to adjust that with my pochette matisse strap I'm gonna change it so I've changed the strap to my pochette matisse strap this is what it looks like I still think it looks okay even though in my honest opinion it's just a little bit too wide for the size of the bag uh, to be proportionate but I still think that it looks okay so there it is that's how it looks like and I just love this bag it's just so simple so understated and but yet at the same time it still looks sophisticated and if you decide you don't want to do the strap you can also oops you can also use it as a clutch let me just take off the strap for a second here so if you want to just use it like so you can but I don't prefer to do that because it's just not my style but you can if you want to do that or if you want to use it as a clutch you can just the chain put the chain like so and hold it like that or you just tuck the chain in inside the bag so you can just bring the bag like so one thing that I want to mention that this strap because the strap is for kettle leather it, it is very comfortable on my shoulder I didn't feel that it was sticking on my shoulder when I wore it throughout the day and it just feels so good and so comfortable so I have no complaint about that so that's that that's the bag it's just so pretty and I'm I am uh, I'm actually happy that I got the PM size but actually I still want an MM size but maybe in of course in a different print I'm looking into the Demir EB and maybe sometime in the future I really hope that they don't discontinue the bag because it is such a beautiful bag and if you're new to Louis Vuitton and if you're looking to buy a, for your very first Louis Vuitton bag and you don't want something that big like the, the Never Full or the Speedy you can always buy the Favorite because you can never go wrong Favorite is such a good name for this bag because it is a favorite of mine and I guess by this time all my Louis Vuitton is my favorites but I just I just love this bag I, that's that okay so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it can be useful and helpful for you guys especially if you're looking to buy the favorite bag I highly highly recommend it so thank you for watching again don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos and you will make my day when you subscribe thank you guys I'll see you next time bye bye